guys welcome back to my channel and uh, <laughs> i'm so happy to be making this video today because it's uh it's been a struggle for a couple of days i think um it's been a long struggle because i've been looking for a house and uh yeah that's just it and finally it's um i found one which is not exactly what i like because when you're looking for a house it's not what you like it's what you can afford so i found one which is basically still on the high side but it's okay for me so now i'm filming this in the bathroom because I'm still not settled and I still don't have a YouTube place. I promised myself that when I get the space, I would um, create a particular place in my house for my YouTube channel. My sister is also about to start her YouTube channel and then we'll be able to have a creative space for our YouTube channel. Aside from that, if this is your first time seeing my face, um, welcome to my channel guys i hit 170 subscribers i know that's not a lot for a person but to me i was in 155 for like six months so it's it's crazy it's it's a happy moment and i'm just so happy i am almost at 8,000 views and i'm almost at 200 subscribers and i don't know what will happen when i get to 500 subscribers but i'm just excited Anyways, sorry, I thought someone opened the door. Um, so I wanted to do a video about can't find my niche because I've tried makeup, I've tried cooking, I've tried weight loss, and I don't know which exactly is my niche. Um, and I'm one of the people that will never show you man till I'm married to him. So I'm, even if I'm dating someone, I don't know how open I can be to share him online. Because I know how how well I used to do that before and how hot I was when it didn't work out. What is this on my shirt? I think I laid somewhere. Anyways, so I'm going to be showing you some houses. Since I moved to Dubai, hmm? even when you show me like 20 houses, the first house I see is the one I always take. Like, um, when I first came, I first of all, this is not even about growth. Because I've grown a lot, guys. When I came... I couldn't afford a bed space. I had to stay in a bed space of like 800 dirhams. And at that time, 800 dirhams was like 80 k naira, which is not now. That rate is so bad. But what I'm just trying to say is I'm growing, guys. I'm growing. I'm literally growing. So I started from like um, um, 800 dirhams, first of all. Um, and I to change my setup, but anyways, this is just a chit chat, a rant. I don't know what to do to make you guys follow me. Oh, hmm. shall sure, follow me. I promise to be fun. <laughs> anyways, so uh, I started from like a bed face of like 800 dirhams, and that was like 80k naira at that time. 800 dirhams now, it's like 100 and 100 and something naira. You know, the dollar rate is falling. So it's about dirham rate rising, I think. Yeah. So the dollar rate is rising, dirham rate is rising, naira is falling. It's it's terrible, guys. It's terrible. So um I first of all moved from that place and the houses I saw online I didn't take. So the first house I saw with my eyes, that was the house I took. So, you know, housing in Dubai is crazy. You have your own rates. If you don't have a check, like if you don't pay for a year, you can end up moving every month. It's not, it's, it's, it's I kid you not. It's either you face things like uh, living with, because you're living with different people. You know, it's different when you're living in your own house and you're living in, um with your, even with your own tribe, even with your own nationality. It's still different when you're living with your family. You can fight with your family, you can argue, but this one, you're leaving people that you have no idea. You're sharing bathroom with them, you're doing... It's, it was terrible at first, and 
uh I, I had to share a bathroom with like seven people you know and I'm, I'm the kind of person that i don't even want to see people's face in the morning and i had to be seeing people's face only because i couldn't afford it at that time so i moved from that to i think i moved from that to still another eight bed <laughs> but the, and then to another eight bed because I, I i promised myself i will never pay more than one thousand dirhams in this country me i will never then COVID happened, obviously. So I moved to a partition and I was still sharing bathroom with two other rooms, but we were just four. Then after that, I moved to a room. So I went from 800 to 1,250 to 1,250. Then I went to 2,000 and I went to 3,000. So this is like in two and a half years or two and a half. Is it two and a half? No, two years and some months. I stayed in like seven houses so you can imagine but anyways um i'm going to show you what you can get for um let's say 400 and something thousand naira per month where i'm going to be staying now is 500 and something thousand naira per month it's three five it's a studio in, in an area called jvc i'm going to be showing the video uh in a few just a video of what it looks like that's not my house exactly i'm still going to make a full video of when my house is set up but I, I saw one for i didn't go to check it actually i went to check it and the guy didn't pick the call and then i didn't go back again that's how crazy i am if i go somewhere and i don't see it that's the end he called back but I, for the fact that i had gone there and he didn't pick and i wasn't going to go back i don't know it's just i'm very like with decisions i'm very like blah 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 so anyway i went to the second house and i just took it i didn't even search for any other thing again because there's something about peace in your mind you know like when you go somewhere you just feel that peace you know what i mean by that peace you just feel that oh this is my house so that's what i felt in the house but anyway this is what five hundred thousand naira can get you in dubai not 500, 3,500 rounds. Multiply it times 142. So that should be 500 or something. Then when you're moving in, I'm paying 5,800 rounds. So that is why I chose this house because it was the least. I was seeing those that said first payment was 6 8. First payment was 7 8. Uh, so I just went for the cheapest. So that's 5 8. So 5 8 is approximately 800 and something thousand rounds. That's what I'm going to pay for the month of August. That's what I have paid for the month of August. Let, let nobody tell you that living in Dubai is beans. It is not beans. House go chop your money. You'll be seeing millions, but house is chopping it. <laughs> but the thing is that if you want to get a house for a um for a year, it's 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 people say it's cheaper, but I think it's approximately the same thing. It depends on the area. The only thing is that you can be able to pay in check and do two two months or four four months and then you can relax from bills and then also you'll be able to ascertain how much energy you use for lights for bills all those things will be on your own head and then you can have the house for a year but i don't even think because in the end you see that you get to pay agency fee 10 10 percent commission 10 percent you know it's so much like everything real estate in dubai is so hard i saw one house and they told me everything was going to be forty eight thousand. the house was 30 something thousand so you guys are actually taking 11 or thirteen thousand on top 13,000 dirhams, almost, it's 2 point something million or so, if not. That's a lot. Hmm. So I just, uh, let me just take, and two, to open account for Nigerians, to be able to use your check to get a house. It's not, it's not, it's not easy. So I just told myself, JJJ, J, J, let me just go and get my, um, what do they call it? Let me go and get my, um, monthly house. Instead of waiting for a check. And then I also, I cannot wait to be in my own house because I have missed living alone. Guys, I've missed living alone. I don't want to see anybody's face. I don't want to see neighbor's face. Oh, Mr. This. Oh, Mrs. This. Oh, you want to cook? Shift? I'm so happy to have my house with my sister. It's a small place, but it's manageable. It's okay for both of us. No extra head, no stress, you know? Anyways, I've been talking too much. Let me show you what the house looks like. It's still unfurnished. Don't laugh. It's still rough. I think some people moved out. In fact, this is not even the one I took eventually. This is the ha the building. I saw this one. Then the landlord gave me a bigger one. It was a mess, so I couldn't record it. But this is what it looks like. But when it's done, I promise to do a full detailed video. Anyways, enjoy. The first studio. 
This is going for 3,500 dirhams, and that is, woohoo! That is, um, we're only making 500k or 500 or something thousand naira per month, guys. This is per month or anything, not per year. Per month, because come and see pool view, and you can see the pool view from your house. This is what the house looks like, it's just the simple. So this one was the other one. It's going for I didn't check this one out because the landlord said the rent was three seven and um the total package was six eight six thousand eight hundred. I didn't even bother checking it out because it was above my budget, so I didn't bother checking it out. But it's beautiful as well. It's very beautiful as well. This is the same price. This one total package was six nine. Oh, I fell in love with this one as well, but I heard that the walls are so thin. But he said that the rent was four thousand and he couldn't go lesser than that. So it was four thousand plus total package two nine. So six nine as well. We loved the mirror, we loved everything, but I didn't want to go above three five because I didn't want to have something I couldn't work with. Now this I liked, but it was in Spot City. It's quite long. It had a dresser, it had everything. It had a dining. It's big. It was 3,000 dirhams and the total package was 4,000 something. But when I went to the house, the landlord wasn't around and I just figured that Spot City is far. I don't want to go too far and everything. So I didn't bother. So yeah, I didn't bother taking it. It's also beautiful as well. I have showed you clips of what houses look like in Dubai. Um, I'm also going to talk about how I have grown. Bible, like, you know how people say Dubai is a land of opportunities. It is. It is a land that you obviously make the money and you will spend it there but you know you are capable of making that money i tell you because i know where i started from and that's not where i am today and that's not where i'm going to be tomorrow it's like full of endless opportunities it's not easy it is not easy i want to show this light on my face very well it is not easy i let me tell you some days you will cry. Like right now, you can't even get a job in Dubai because they're not giving Nigerians visa. So um, there's no hope. Um, also, it is not easy. But if you if you persevere and if you have God on your side and it's it's, it's faith, it's luck, it's just, uh, it's God. And I'm just thankful for my sister that made me take the chance to just come to Dubai and look for a job. And for me, make me, making me who I am. Also, I'm just so thankful. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my rant. Please, I don't know what else to do for you guys to follow me. Please follow me. You know, I can't even choose a day that I want to be putting videos because nobody watches it. It's just either my mommy, my auntie, and some of my friends. I don't know who's watching, but please, would this be the video that will get to click? Uh, you don't understand how happy I would be if I get to like 500 subscribers. I would literally cry. I would literally come online and cry. Please help my life and like my videos and subscribe. And watch. I watch everybody's videos unless I'm not online. I'm just watching and liking and watching and liking. Please. Anyways, until next time, I think I'll be doing a video of my house. And uh, yeah. Until next time. Thank you for joining me in this rant. And. Don't forget, I love you, but God loves you more. Mwah!